Life of Pi was a stunning and revolutionary film which went on to win the Oscar for Best Visual Effects, but not a lot of people know about the tragic story behind this Academy Award win for the VFX team, the story of the collapse of the major Hollywood company R&H that is indicative of the current state of VFX labour and the turmoil of the visual effects industry. To tell this story, I will be using the article The Globalization of Visual Effects Labour by Michael Curtin and John Vanderhoof, which I will link in the video description. Let's get into it. Welcome to the film essay. Let's get a bit of background. Digital visual effects now compromise one third of total production spending on major feature film releases. Yet despite this, the VFX industry is characterized by layoffs and bankruptcies. As one famous Hollywood producer notoriously said, if I don't put at least one VFX company out of business when producing a film, I'm not doing my job. Life of Pi reportedly cost $70 million to make, and was a worldwide commercial success, with a profit of $610 million. Three out of every four shots in the final cut of Life of Pi involved special effects, most of them generated by r &H, working under contract law for Fox 2000 films. Established in 1987, r &H is an award-winning post-production and special effects studio headquartered in Los Angeles, California, with over 25 years of experience in the industry. Renowned as one of the best employers in the effects business, r &H provided its employees with pay and benefits that were well above the industry norm, reasoning that this was the best way to attract and retain top-flight talent. While most companies offered zero-hour contracts, awful pay and temporary jobs, r &H were exceptional by comparison to the generally precarious contract labour in most digital effects shops. These demanding and uncertain conditions did little, however, to discourage the swelling ranks of VFX workers. During the 1990s, as the business began to grow, companies staffed their rosters with young, ambitious techies who seemed comparatively unconcerned about the sorts of protections and benefits that Hollywood unions offered. The studio contract system means that although major firms are financed and distributed by major studios, the actual production of each film is conducted by hundreds of employees. Most of these work for independent companies that sign contracts with the studio producers to provide specific services at a set price, which in the effects business is usually based on the number of shots contributing to the final product. The studio contract system is very important to understand the life of Pi. VFX shops in New Zealand and India boomed, while US and UK VFX companies could not compete with cheap prices and uncertain working hours. Like all independent film and television companies, r &H tried to strike a balance between creative excellence and cost containment, but it was required to do so in a business with very thin profit margins, ranging between 3 and 5%. But in 2012, its partnered studios cut back on effects-driven titles, engendering a perfect storm for r &H, as its total revenue from studio films plummeted to $18 million, a substantial drop from the $90 million it had been pulling in for several years. Lacking a nest egg from profit participation on successful films of the past, the company ran out of operating cash on the eve of its Academy Award for the Life of Pi. The controversial Life of Pi is emblematic of the precarious working conditions confronting VFX workers who must contend with long hours, hard deadlines, international competition, temporary employment and a lack of basic benefits such as healthcare and retirement. Ironically, these new operations then became part of a larger circuit of exploitation, and many firms ultimately find themselves vulnerable to the very same pressures that have decimated the VFX business in Los Angeles. R&H is a tragic story of a VFX company collapsing at the time of its own artistic success, and demonstrates how the creative industry of visual effects is at threat from cost demands of the media machine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more content.